Now, one thing is a bit different. You do have some safety concerns. Now, if you're working with anything, with you know, metal parts, grinders or whatever, and obviously with 12 volt batteries that can have issues where maybe they will explode at one time in your career, and it's happened to me once or twice, you want to obviously wear safety glasses. So wearing safety glasses around the 12 volt stuff because the potential for acid in your eyes, but also we're dealing with the high voltage components. So if I were to determine this DC to DC converter has got codes, it's not a simple fuse or anything, it is a bad converter, I've diagnosed it, it's sitting there at 12 volts, it's readied up but it's not trying to charge the 12 volt battery, much less keep up with the accessories. Now it's time to disconnect the 12 volt battery and then whatever the manufacturer tells you, but I'll give you an overview, 12 volt battery in my world always gets disconnected when I do work on a car of that extreme nature. And then anything with orange cables, and obviously the inverter and converter, we can see over here lots of orange cables. That's high voltage stuff. That's where you're going to remove the service plug or the service disconnect that's usually at the battery pack itself. So this unit's got one where you flop the back seat down, pull a little trim cover up a couple of inches and there's a big orange plug just like on the back of a Prius battery. And then you're going to test your gloves so they'll be checked professionally every six months and then every time you use them before you put them on and after you use them to make sure you didn't poke a hole in them during the service pr process. So I check out the gloves. The rubber goes on me, protects me from electrocution. Anything over 60 volts, even under an amp. But if it's over 60 volts, can be injurious or lethal, it could take your life. So I'd want to work until I determine that everything is dead with the meter prior to removing the cable. So I power the vehicle off, disconnect the 12 volt battery, remove the big orange battery, high voltage battery service plug, and then the gloves go on and I protect the gloves with the leather shells so I don't have poke a hole in a glove. Now I can take panels and things loose as the service manual tells me to, remove the cables, test them first with a meter. If they're dead, nothing on that vehicle then has got any power supplied to it of the high voltage nature. These heavy cumbersome old gloves can come off if you've done a test. I would recommend what I call the live dead live test where you check a known good 12 volt source like we're doing right here. I like just a battery with the cables disconnected. You put the, you know, the the meter leads on DC on the battery and then go to your high voltage stuff and make sure it's zero. So you make sure your meter works on something you know is live like a 12 volt battery and then you go over here to what you're making sure is dead and that'd be the high voltage system and if it's dead the gloves can come off, get the ratchets and, ratchets and wrenches out and do your job. Nobody has to tell you how to be a tech but doing the diagnostics and doing it safely that is definitely worth some training information time.